Hi, this is Adam, a small town machine shop with uh, tonight's little video here. This will be a, probably a two-parter. Here is my Camelback drill press. Um, it's deceivingly large because I'm kneeling on the floor right now. What I'm going to do is it's set up for three-phase. It has a one-horse, three-phase motor on it right now. I'm going to put on a 110 or a 220 motor if I can find one in my stash to basically make this i move this guy around a lot i use this thing a lot i love this drill press but my three phase situation right now is i'm i have a possible lead from a relative on some vfds uh as a backup i have the super crude phase converter but i'm the way when i rearranged the shop when i got the new lathe and everything um, I'm moving all the three-phase stuff to one side. And this guy moves position a lot. So I have a lot of 220 plugs around the shop. So I want to make it so this guy can go anywhere. So, uh, yeah. So what it has on it right now. And I had converted this to a 220 motor before. Oh, six, seven months ago. Then I converted it back. And the motor I had on here originally went with another machine that I got rid of. I meant to keep the motor to it, but I didn't. So I would also like to get a re reversible motor to put on here. So what it has on it right now, I don't know how well it's going to show up. Probably not at all. It has a one horse, three phase motor. It spins at 1200 RPM. It is kind of an oddball RPM. It's, as you can see, it's an ancient motor. So I'm going to put a 1750 motor on if I can find it and just put on a smaller pulley. This has a, probably a four, four inch pulley if I had to guess. So I like the speeds it runs at with this RPM. So, and I'm not gonna bother trying to get a bigger wheel. I don't know if I could find one, but uh, if I can get a 1750 motor, put on a, smaller pulley not only would i gain a little bit more power you know a three phase a three phase one horse motor is going to be better in a lot of regards to a 110 or 220 single phase one horse motor so a trade-off would be a smaller pulley would get me more a little more power there so and there's as i recall there's a lot of mounting slots in this base so what i'm going to do I'm going to scoot this guy out a bit from the wall and get this motor pulled off, get this base cleared off, and I'll we'll go from there and I'll bring you back. Okay, we have removed the motor. I have these, my god, I came with these things. They bolt in from the bottom and they have a bolt hole. For bolt the motor to it when i had the old uh because that one horse motor has a pretty wide stance i had to use some angle iron i think actually it was square stock last time to mount the other motor so the motor has been removed and i'm gonna go root through my stash of motors and i'll see what i can find i'll bring you back okay i have found a suitable motor it's a nice big one horse. I have some one horse Daytons that are like half the size. But this has the nice long wide base, which would be very easy to mount. As you see, it's one horsepower, dual voltage. That's the RPM range I was looking for. It is reversible, very not super important, but that's what I wanted. It'll draw a mere 7 amps at 220. So this is a very good candidate. So that's what's going on there. Obviously, I only need to upsize that pulley. The pulley size on the other one is 5.5. What I'm also going to do is another slight upgrade. The Camelback drill press already has a drum switch on it. But I have this Allen Bradley one. And you can convert it from maintained to momentary. 
just simply by loosening that screw and flipping this over here. So if I would ever want to power tap on this, or, you know, just be able to jog it, uh, I'll have that option. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the drum switch on it with this guy. Just to make it a little more versatile. Now, obviously, I don't think I should run over and plug this guy in. Let's take a look at the other end. I do know this motor works. Hmm. Yep. I think we... I think it's due for a new plug. <laughs> so we'll be replacing that. So in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow, I will be wiring this guy. The, these drum switches, they usually come with instruction manuals, but usually two on the inside. Try not to lose that screw there. It has all the wiring diagrams you need. So yeah, shouldn't be much. Now I'll show you the wiring on it. I'm gonna go tomorrow and see what I can find as far as pulleys. This has a, I'll measure it. Maybe a three quarter inch shaft. So it'll be, it'll be easy to find a pulley for it. So yeah, that's where we'll stop for the day. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.